Good morning, I guess. I decided to stop over here at Love's to get some fuel, but unfortunately, their network is down. So, so much for that. They tried to call to see what's up with the network to see if they can get it back online, but unfortunately, even the even the phone systems is down. We're heading to Mason City, Iowa. Down good old I-35. Was up in Shakopee, Minnesota. Last night I did my overnight, and uh, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't no snow on the ground. But I come up uh, I come up 35. Heading towards uh, Abilia, and uh, not nice, not nice at all. Now, I don't understand Graham McNally sometimes. Graham McNally wants me to go off route. Now I've been here before, and I know I took 35, about 30 miles down. Man, this this Graham McNally wants me to get off and take. Uh, take the country roads. Not about to do that. I don't know how my home time's going to be. Um, I know my home time starts Saturday. So technically I'm going to be routing home Friday. So either I'm going to have a drop on Friday or, or I'm just going to be heading straight to the house. Right here in uh, Mason City, Iowa, at the Walmart. Let me uh, say a little something about Walmart, right quick. Now, a long time ago, they used to let us park. We used to have plenty of truck parking. Unfortunately, now the truck drivers fucked all of them. So now we can't park in there in their parking lots no more. Now I could probably understand that. You know that I'm thinking about it. You know because, like I said, truck drivers pretty much fuck that deal all up, leaving shit in the parking lot, trash, piss bottle. But Walmart just got tired of it. You know they said, hey, you know we used to let you guys park in our parking lots. You know we we know we know you move America. <laughs> you know. Without you guys, it wouldn't be a Walmart. You guys messed it up for everybody. Why y'all can't just throw y'all trash in the dumpster like everybody else? I, I usually don't want to show this, but it has to be shown just to let you know how, how nasty and fucked up how people really is out here. The disclaimer, what you about to see is very, very gross now a lot of you guys know about the public restroom right right you you gotta use the restroom you're coming in and you go through the door and then you see shit 
like that. That's just plain freaking lazy. It's not that hard to do this. Come over here. You see that little button right there? You see that button right there? That's the flush button. It do work. If you was to get up and the sensor don't catch it, the flush button right here. See how, see how easy that was? Flush, nice, clean, fresh, ready for the next person to use the restroom. How hard is that? See, that's the problem with some of these people out here. Y'all is just plain nasty as fuck, all right? Sorry about me being blunt. Sorry about me cussing, but it's just irritating when you go to a restroom, any restroom, doesn't have to be Walmart. I see it at the truck stops as well. You go to the restroom and somebody just neglects to, to flush the toilet or wash their hands. I see a lot of that. Oh my God, I see a lot of that. Somebody come right out of, some, I, you know what? I bet you whoever left that didn't wash his hands. I guarantee you that. Whoever left that did not wash his hands. Stayed in there a little bit longer than anticipated. Damn, and I still gotta go over to the pilot and fuel up. Man, we're not appreciated enough out here. But you know what though? There, there are, there, there are some, some, some people that that want to be assholes. But then there are people that generally appreciate the things we do. I got the receipt right. Yeah. Thinking he's coming back over to the to the truck or to his car to move it and. You know, he started getting some little wand or something with the slightest idea what you're doing, you know, but I, I'm like this on him. I'm like, well, what you can do is move the car so I can so I can get around and go to the fuel line. That's all I want to do. I, I'm not stopping Any you from working, you know, you. All you have to do is hop in, move over, and then get back to doing what you're doing. You didn't have to come over to my truck and try to be a tough guy. So I just want to say thank you very much, Pilot 407, for the for the awesome job and the awesome courteousness that you showed me here. Goddamn, this is a good ass cookie. There is some people that really do appreciate the job that we do out here. I don't like like overnight driving, but I can get an early start. And if I can get an early start, then you know what that means. I can get an early shutdown. The only other issue with that is, is that I gotta go to sleep a little bit early so I can get at least five, six, seven, eight hours of sleep. You gotta understand, okay? And I keep saying it. When you get into this game, your sleep pattern is gonna be all out of whack. Don't expect to get in here right quick and be like, oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get my eight hours of sleep and do a nine to five trucking gig. You're not gonna get that when you get into this game. That's not gonna happen because you're gonna have times where you gotta when you got two, three, four, four o'clock appointments. And you gotta get up like like two, three hours beforehand to make those appointments, man. So just realize when you get in here, you're not gonna get no sleep. It's, it's no time for sleeping. 
You know what I'm saying? No time for sleeping at all. So that's what I got to do. That's what I've been doing. I had to change up that mentality when I got out here. So sleep, you got to get it when you can. Hopefully, all right, hopefully that this load is preloaded. <laughs> And I could just go ahead and back up to a back up to a trailer, and I, you know what? I don't think there's no hopefully about it. I, I think it is preloaded because if it wasn't loaded, they wouldn't have had me to, to drop my empty. They would have just had me to back up to a dock and and wait for it. But if they are getting it loaded, I'm not sure if it's loaded already because the uh, the appointment time is three o'clock, which I am here at. Uh, I don't know uh, what time is it? it is. Uh, it is three o'clock on the dot, so I am here. So if it's loaded, that's good. If it's not loaded, then I probably just have to wait for it. Ah, good morning again. So I was on I seventy. And unfortunately, there was, I guess it was an accident or something like that. I'm not sure, but unfortunately, we, we was forced off the highway. Well, we was forced off of 70, and I had to go a different, I had to go a different route by being forced off. What's this guy doing? Okay. So, I had to go a different route while being forced off. So, you know, the good Ram and Nally started going into a into a hizzy fit with the recalculation. So, what I just did was, instead of having it recalculate by itself, I just went over here and hit a couple of detours on the uh on the system so i just basically told told it that i don't want it i don't want to go down 70 so what it did it took me off of 70 and brought me over here to jeffersonville which was very good because this is one of the loves where that's in our network and i can fuel up and i can get an advance so that's what I am doing right now. I'm still doing good timing. As a matter of fact, I'm picking up from the same destination that I'm dropping off at. So, it's pretty good for, for what I'm about to do. So, the day's going good so far. You know, a little, a little, a little traffic jam in the morning, but it still didn't mess nothing up it's nine o'clock in the morning i'm still doing good time i still got hours so let me go ahead and get this fuel and uh hop back on the road oops yep don't want to be dropping no money shout out to my man patrick all right hopefully he'll become a a new swoogle driver you know come on board check out and see what the company is all about you know you guys when y'all ask me about about the company and if it's a good fit and all that good stuff I'm only going to tell you from my experience you know my experience with the company is cool you know but when you guys come aboard you guys got to make it you guys gotta make this uh, a good fit for you. It, it, it's a it's a good fit for me, so I can only tell you my experience. Make it your enjoyable experience, you know? Cause everything that's happening for me right now is is basically what I want. You know, the company is the company is treating me real nice. Thirty five. Oh, is there pumps along the way? Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's bumps along the way. And, you know, and, and like I said before, no company is perfect. It's, 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 it's going good for me. So, to my man Patrick, come on aboard. Uh, 
Katie, my recruiter. She will definitely give you a give you a call, and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully you'll be rocking out with us mm -hmm. soon. Hopefully you'll be rocking out with us soon. And anybody else, you know, wanna wanna come on come on aboard and see what uh, see what see what we're all about. You know, hit me up in the comments or or hit me up in uh in the email. You know, leave me your information and I will definitely get it to the right people. And that right people will get in contact with you and ask questions. All right. Don't just take my word for it. Ask questions. All right. and 41 minutes of remaining drive time. The next load for today is uh, is a pickup from Zanesville. And that is heading out to Illinois. So that's the plan for today. Let's see if that plan materializes. When you get when you get to the paper workers down, I want that trailer in 13. Like I like these places when when you come to a dock and you don't have to open the doors and they'll open it from the inside, those are some nice docks. Watch me get this in the door. nice ship I mean nice shippers and receivers but when you do you make sure you acknowledge them you have three hours and, and 17 minutes of remaining drive time We good? I guess we're good. All right. Putting on the gloves right quick so I can let this trailer down. And uh, head over to, uh, over to the next delivery. So, so far so good. Today has been a smooth day. 